In July, Hydrogen faced a significant challenge as a hydrogen-powered bus exploded at a station in California during the refueling process. Explosions and flames damaged the fuel dispensing area, but fortunately, there were no injuries or fatalities. The station's safety measures contained the fire, preventing more extensive damage. Is this the end for hydrogen vehicles? Let's delve deep into this question. Hydrogen, a time bomb? The involved vehicle, owned by the Golden Empire Transit Group, a California-based transit operator, had an estimated value of around $1.1 million. Unfortunately, this value was consumed in a fire, marking not the first incident involving hydrogen. In another episode, a hydrogen plant in North Carolina experienced an explosion, resulting in the destruction of 60 homes. Several other cases have raised concerns. For instance, in 2019, a hydrogen refueling station in Norway exploded. There was also an explosion of a hydrogen tank at a hospital in Detroit, in addition to the well-known catastrophe at the Fukushima reactor in Japan. These events prompt questions about the safety of hydrogen compared to alternatives like electric batteries. Hydrogen, a highly volatile gas, is used in the production of some of the most powerful bombs. This raises concerns about the safety of having a hydrogen tank in vehicles, especially considering its explosive potential. The decision by Golden Empire to acquire 10 hydrogen-powered buses was part of an effort to meet a goal set by the California government, achieving zero emissions in public transportation by 2040. The company itself was responsible for building the refueling station where the latest incident occurred. Karen King, the CEO of Golden Empire, emphasized that damages were mitigated due to the station's efficient safety system and the prompt response of the Bakersfield Fire Department. However, she did not provide details about the cause of the fire or the cost of damages. This is not an isolated case. In 2019, an explosion at a hydrogen refueling station occurred in San Viga, near Oslo, Norway. In this incident, a car exploded during refueling, resulting in minor injuries for two people and the temporary closure of 10 other refueling stations worldwide. Another significant incident occurred in Longview, North Carolina, in April 2020. The explosion at a hydrogen fuel plant damaged approximately 60 houses, with many residents reporting being knocked down by the force of the explosion. At Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, a hydrogen tank exploded in the back of a truck in the underground parking lot. This explosion injured two people and damaged at least three other vehicles. The force of the explosion was so intense that even the windows of an elevator, located over 200 feet away, were shattered. The Fukushima catastrophe, where a hydrogen explosion rendered a vast area uninhabitable, further underscores the risks associated with hydrogen. While reducing vehicle emissions is crucial, safety should not be overlooked. Hydrogen-powered vehicles, despite contributing to emissions reduction, pose a considerable risk in accident scenarios. For example, in February 2023, a collision between a car and a truck carrying 420 kilograms of hydrogen fuel resulted in an explosion in Delaware County. The occupants of the vehicles were hospitalized with minor injuries. Witnesses described the scene as a continuous series of explosions, highlighting the volatility and potential danger of hydrogen. This series of incidents serves as a reminder of the risks involved in using hydrogen as an energy source. While we seek cleaner and more sustainable alternatives to fossil fuels, it is crucial to carefully assess the risks and safety of each option. Hydrogen, despite its emission advantages, still presents significant safety challenges that need to be addressed. These incidents reinforce the need for careful evaluation and continuous improvements in the safety of facilities and vehicles using hydrogen. The end of hydrogen? Alan Finkel, 
former chief scientist of Australia and one of the few owners of hydrogen cars in the country, holds a critical view of hydrogen technology. He believes that this technology struggles to compete with battery electric vehicles, especially concerning energy efficiency. Finkel shared his experiences on the Insiders podcast, detailing his journey when refueling his hydrogen car. He spent 30 minutes driving to the refueling station and another 30 minutes returning. Although the hydrogen car refueling process is quick, taking only 3 or 4 minutes, the total time spent is 63 minutes. This delay is a result of the scarcity of refueling stations in Melbourne and Australia as a whole. The lack of infrastructure is a significant obstacle to the popularization of hydrogen. In contrast, the infrastructure for electric vehicles, known as EVs, is more developed, with more charging centers, and about 95% of charging occurs at residences. This convenience and cost savings are strengths of EVs. On the other hand, some companies still see potential in hydrogen vehicles, especially for heavy and long-distance vehicles. There is a concern that batteries may be large and heavy. While EV battery technology evolves, companies like JCB continue to invest in hydrogen. Electric vehicles face safety-related challenges. Reports of battery explosions during charging or use are concerning. Despite some fatal incidents, fires in EVs tend to be less intense and more controllable than those involving conventional fuels. EV fires usually develop slowly, providing time for evacuation and, in some cases, firefighting. Tesla points out that vehicles with internal combustion engines are 11 times more likely to catch fire compared to EVs. This highlights the relative safety of EVs. However, the unpredictability of hydrogen's volatility can lead to almost instantaneous explosions and in incidents. Nevertheless, companies like Toyota and Ford are investing in hydrogen technology. For instance, Toyota has been dedicated to developing hydrogen cars, even with the popularity of EVs. The company continues to add electric vehicles to its lineup, but does not seem willing to abandon hydrogen cars. Ford has also entered this market, launching a testing program and expressing interest in offering hydrogen as an option for customers. In California, where the goal is to achieve net zero emissions in public transportation by 2040, the California Hydrogen Business Council has been promoting hydrogen. Hydrogen engines are similar to those of fossil combustion, making it easier to adopt them into existing fleets. Globally, the safety of hydrogen is a growing concern. In the UK, for example, the transition to hydrogen cars is approached cautiously. In 2021, hydrogen vehicle sales exceeded 15,000 units, an 82% increase from 2020. However, these numbers are modest compared to EV and plug-in hybrid electric vehicle sales, reaching 4,600,000 and 1,900,000, respectively. Governments in different countries are working to develop the necessary infrastructure for the safe supply and storage of hydrogen. Such facilities would encourage more consumers to choose hydrogen. Safety policies and regulations are crucial in this context. Binkle, the author of Australia's National Hydrogen Strategy, emphasizes the importance of emergency services training. In the United States, firefighters are being trained to respond to incidents involving hydrogen. This demonstrates a global effort to address hydrogen challenges. The debate between battery electric vehicles and hydrogen cars as sustainable alternatives is far from being resolved. Hydrogen has its challenges, mainly due to its volatility, but its use and production are expected to increase in the near future. This indicates a trend in the automotive industry and global environmental policies, reflecting continued interest in greener alternatives. The evolution of this technology and its market acceptance will be decisive for the future viability of hydrogen in the transportation sector.
The hydrogen journey is still in its early stages. With ongoing advancements in technology and infrastructure, as well as increased awareness of environmental issues, we are likely to see a rise in the use of hydrogen cars. The pursuit of sustainable solutions for current environmental challenges is a global imperative, and hydrogen plays a crucial role in this quest. Its potential to reduce carbon emissions and offer an alternative to fossil fuels is undeniable. As technology evolves and safety concerns are addressed, hydrogen may become an increasingly viable and popular option. And you, what do you think about the future of hydrogen? Share your opinion with us below and see what others are saying.